beautiful thing is, is you can go within and you can slow down the mind and all the distractions and you can start to realize just how beautiful your heart is and how just how much you have inside of you already to develop and pull out. So that boldness or that, re the, that relaxed person or that confident person, it is there inside of you already. So what do you want? Think of that word and I want you to begin to meditate on that quality. Or you can even go to the value. You can even go to the higher value, peace. Okay? You, you can go to the quality, boldness. Okay? Assertiveness. Just focus quietly on that word. And I want you to begin to form an image of what that quality represents for you. What is assertiveness? What are, who are you with this assertiveness? Or whatever quality you are working on. What does it look like? And if you go to a memory in your past that is perfectly Fine, that might happen. What is assertiveness? You can also go to a future image. I'm leaving this very open to you and your imagination. What is this quality? Who are you in who are you embodying this quality? Your self image. we talk about visualization is not just seeing yourself or seeing this scene or seeing this representation of this quality, but it's also using all the senses that make sense, <laughs> that makes sense to you. Maybe you hear something. Maybe you feel it in your body somewhere. Where are you feeling it in your body? And feel into how good it feels, how powerful it feels to have this quality right now. What does that feel like? Just keep leaning into the excitement and the joy and the happiness and the, and the inner wisdom of knowing that you are indeed this quality. Feel into that. The feeling is even more powerful than the image itself. What does it feel like in your body and in your knowing that this is who you are? It is who you are now, it is who you are in your future, and it is who you were before because it is already finished. You are that. And how good does that feel to know that? And just have that conversation between you and you right now. I am that. Have that conversation.
you can take all of this with you into your outer world. That's what this is about. You feel into this knowing. You feel into these inner resources that are alive, waiting for you to explore them and bring them out into the world. This finished creation waiting for you to come in and bring out that assertiveness, bring out that boldness, bring out that peace, that love, that joy that is you waiting for you. It is who you are. You are love itself. You are more than these tools that create our self-image. You are peace. You are love. You are bold. You are free. Isn't it wonderful to know that? Take another moment to just feel this into your body. Feel this into your heart. See if you feel it anywhere in particular on your body because I want you to take this with you when we come back to now. I want you to take something with you, a trigger, put it, place it in your heart, place it somewhere that makes sense to you where you can access this quality or this knowing at any time in the day-to-day -day life, you can take a moment and remember and know and tap into it. So do that now. Breathe it in. Take a deep breath in. Breathe it in. Breathe in that quality. Breathe in that value. Breathe in that self-image. When you are ready, feeling so much better than before, taking all of this with you, having this quality that is yours, moving forward, you can begin to come back to the now and open your eyes. How are we doing, everybody? Are we feeling our quality? I was feeling bold. I, I don't know, because I was saying bold, so I was like really feeling this boldness come out of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I am bold. You know, just talking about that soccer thing, I was like, oh. I really am bold, right? That's amazing. Raina, excellent. Sherry, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Anybody want to uh, say what their quality is and if they feel it a little stronger? They feel it a little stronger? They feel, did you, did you locate a place? I know for me, for some reason, I wanted to like put it right here on my left shoulder. <laughs> my boldness right here on my left shoulder. It's weird. Our imaginations are weird. You can't really, you just, you just got to go with it. You, you never know what is going to come out of your imagination. It is the absolute most, fa most fascinating thing I've ever experienced um, getting into this stuff. So good. My quality is powerful. I recently de drastically changed my life following my dream, and it's been a little deflating, bringing back the power I used to feel solar plexus. Okay, Ginger. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, going into the unknown is, can be scary. You know, taking a new path can be scary, but, you know, the obstacle is the way, right? You don't know until you go through that door, and our bodies and our minds don't want you to go through that door. Our conscious, you know, our protection, our, it's really hard. That's what makes change so hard, because, you know, we think we're who we are right now and we're never going to change. Like my self-image um, would not be doing meditations if it was 20 years ago. Like <laughs> I would be laughing 
uh, if somebody told me I would be doing meditations in 20 years. Like, I never, what's meditation? I don't even know what that is. I mean, so, but you let, you let, you let go and you let God is the saying, right? You let go, you let God, you go within, you create this world that you want to create. Again, it's already created, but you bring it in, you bring it up and you do it with boldness, right? Especially when you're going into new adventures. And, but that's part of the fun, right? We talk a lot about in this channel too, about process versus the goal. So the goal isn't, you know, you said you're, you're going for your dream. The goal isn't the dream. Real, I mean, the, the goal is the, the outcome might be getting the dream, but the journey is life. So enjoy the process, enjoy the ups and downs, enjoy it. Um, because that's, that's what life's about, right? It's about the journey. Okay. Thanks, Jen, for the donation. Appreciate that. Maggie, that was just beautiful. I truly feel the kingdom of God within me. Yes, knock and the door shall be open, right? Just go within, go within, focus, slow down. It's amazing how much peace and clarity you can find. Sherry, I have a bad habit of bad self-talk occasionally, and I know love is all that matters. This has been awesome. Awesome, Sherry. I love to hear that. Yes. Go in and take a couple minutes. You know, when you're getting rattled or something in your negative self-talking, just slow down, breathe, and have just a beautiful one-minute conversation with yourself and just say, would I talk to my best friend this way? Like, you are my best friend. I am with you 24 hours a day. Like, be your own best friend. Ginger, I would have laughed if someone told me what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're always changing. We're always, always changing. Uh, you know, that's, that's just the, the truth of it. Um, do you have any recorded tracks like this meditation we just did? So good to repeat bringing that feeling in. Um, I do have a bunch of meditation tracks on here. I'm trying to think. I, I, I did one on self-image. I don't know if it's on Insight Timer. I will, I, you know, I need to redo a self-image meditation because it, it was one of the first I, I did when I started doing some of these meditations and the, the, odd, the quality is not very good. So that, that's a good idea to do a new, more of a self-image. I have a future identity meditation I just put up, Ginger, that you might like, that might, you know, that might work for, but it's, it's not exactly the same. Any other questions? Any other questions? Yeah, it's it's beautiful just to slow down and say, who am I? Like, what is myself? What 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 do I what do I need from myself today? Like, what can I give myself today? What can I you know? And and it's there for you. All of the inner resources are there for you to bring out, right? So, you know, and I, Ginger, I like what you're saying because sometimes there's you want to work on, you really, you can do this again and again and again. You, I mean, and you can do it fast. Here's the thing about imagination. It happens so much faster in your mind than in real life, right? So I, I always tell people like that are athletes and stuff like that. You can go through a whole game, you know, really quickly and just, just feel yourself performing. Or if you have to do a talk, you can do that in your mind, in your imagination, over and over and over again and get this practice. And just like the quality, you can build that quality more and more so that you're stronger and stronger in that quality of assertiveness, for example, like I, I feel assertive and, and you can just take two minutes or one minute and be like, what was that feeling I had? And then tap into that feeling. Remember that cough, that trigger, you want to tap into that trigger of that quality and you just, it's practice. But again, you can do it over and over again. Remember, repetition is the key to what, I mean, people always thought like, oh, I just got to repeat, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. You can go in your imagination and say, I am bold and feel into that boldness again and again and again. And it trains the subconscious mind to know that that is the way that that, that is the change, right? You are now bold and it's going to, it's not lying to yourself because you are 
you are feeling into it in your imagination and it is becoming more and more real. So, so in, in the book, psycho cybernetics, he talks about, um, your conscious mind makes the decision, right? Our focused intention. I'm going, I want, I am more bold. I'm going to be more bold, whatever it is. But then you have to trust, you have to give it to God. You have to give it to your subconscious. You have to give it to your imagination. You have to give it to your inner wisdom, your int intuition, that now you are bold and now you're going to trust that you're going, going to live in this boldness, for example. You don't have to consciously figure out, oh, I could be more bold if I go do that. I could be, like, it's just, you let it become a natural part of who you are. Remember, the biggest thing, one of the biggest things we talk about in here is you be, and then you do, and then you have.